Hi, I'm John Holden, and welcome to Earth. We're starting off our show here in Rutland, Vermont, a picturesque city in New England with all its blazing fall colors that's known for being a strong supporter of recycling. But you know, recycling is only successful when the cycle is complete. And when China recently banned the flow of recycled material from the U.S., it disrupted the industry. But now an innovative resource management business is underway here that's truly making recycling sustainable. Let's take a look. Recycling is now part of our DNA. When Americans sort their waste into recycling bins, they expect to be doing their part to save our environment. But since export markets like China began restricting the flow of recycled material from the U.S., the global recycling industry has changed dramatically. China has all but exited the fiber markets. Uh, several years ago, you saw a high degree of commodities from the U.S. making their way to China. Today, none of those commodities are going to China. We see mixed paper, think of junk mail, magazines, pricing down almost 95% in the last two years. We've seen cardboard pricing down nearly 70% in the last two years. And these two streams alone make up two-thirds of the recycling stream. The problem is that 85% of the recycling stream today is of little value and doesn't cover the cost of recycling to meet sustainability goals. But Casella Waste Systems has shifted the business model of recycling to make recycling environmentally and economically sustainable. The big challenge for us is this is not just a Casella issue, this is an industry issue, this is not a U.S. issue, this is a global issue. China's demand and presence from a recycling perspective and the changes that they have made created a massive ripple effect across the world. Um, so now we are in a place where we have the opportunity to make change. And I think from an economic perspective, that's exactly what we're doing. We are trying to create systems for sustainable recycling. Sustainable both for the preservation of where our materials can go, because we naturally have to send recyclables somewhere, but also sustainable from a business perspective. Whenever people talk about sustainability, they really focus on the environment. But at Casella, we're focused on both the environment and the economic model. Our ability to invest in critical projects to take operating costs out, and also our ability to find end markets for these recyclables, we are actually going to drive profitability up year over year in our business. We may be one of the only companies in the United States who's doing this. We've made recycling truly sustainable in probably the most challenging market we've seen in 30 years. In fact, these 1,300-pound bales of crushed cans are considered to be the golden nugget of the recycling industry. In 60 days' time, these crushed cans are going to be back on the storeroom shelves as new cans. Casella Waste Systems has been ahead of the recycling market for much of its nearly 45-year existence, with a unique approach to ensuring its recycling programs are both economically and environmentally sustainable. It's the reason why they continue to see strong recycling revenue growth, even while others have faced a steep decline. It started out as a one-truck operation. My brother Doug started the company in 75. I joined him in 76. And in 1977, we built the first recycling facility in Vermont. And uh, those, those are the roots of the company. And, and we've always uh, looked at um, recycling as a major component of a waste management strategy, not a loss leader, but really an integral part of how we need to manage our waste. And it's really driven the business for 40 years. And now, you know, we're providing services to colleges and universities, to industrial customers, to municipalities helping them meet their sustainability goals. We're not just a waste company. We're a company that is solving complex problems for our customers at the source of generation. And that's really where the value is harvested. When we can go in and sit down with a client and understand exactly how they're manufacturing their product, we can then influence a wide variety of um, opportunities to recraft and reshape how those materials are being generated and then collected. These customers include manufacturing companies like Hypertherm, a green company in New Hampshire and Vermont's Upper Valley that was looking for resource solutions to meet its commitment to sustainable recycling. Recycling for Hypertherm is incredibly important. We're a Lean Six Sigma manufacturing 
And for over 50 years, we've been relentlessly focused on reducing lean wastes like inventory and movement and defects. We then came to Casella and together we developed a concept for a cooperative recycling center here in the Upper Valley. And we started to send all of our non-landfill waste through the Cooperative Recycling Center. We set a goal in 2010 to become a zero landfill waste organization. We're at 1.8% right now, so we actually really rely heavily on our partnership with Casella to navigate the complexity of those markets for us at Hypertherm. By us taking a small piece of risk, passing it back to our customers, investing in our infrastructure, we've been able to truly make this business model work even in this down cycle in the industry. In this new green economy, Casella is on the leading edge of deploying resource solutions that are truly achieving success when it comes to recycling.